was in Finland, I met someone and I thought he was nice and I got married. So that happened. I was the one who found him. Anyone who comments on this video or any other posts that this was my mum's idea, you will be blocked immediately by me personally because I will be looking at the comments of this video. I was the one who personally found this man, not my mum. It was my choice. I have to make that very clear because some people have made up their own ideas which are not true at all. And a lot of people have also believed his lies. Which... Yeah. He's really good at making people believe his lies. What happened was, I was minding my own business, I was happy by myself, and all of a sudden, uh, his mom, China, messaged me out of nowhere, saying that uh, God created Cleopatra for me. And I was like, who is this girl, Cleopatra? She messaged me saying that God uh, created Cleopatra for me and I'm created for Cleopatra. So okay. what's going on is that me, I'm born again Christian. So like if you talk to me about Bible, I would listen to you. Wonderful. And then that's pretty much what she told me. She used the Bible on me and stuff and like pretty much told me all these things and I believed in her. Okay. And then like, they, they wanted to come here. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you guys can come. So they and all of a sudden, there's this woman saying that her daughter was made for me. I'm and then so as soon as we sorry. met, like, we became together and stuff. And I fell in love with her. She fell in love with me. And I felt that connection that I never, ever felt before. Mom, she messaged me. She messaged So Tyna randomly messaged you one day? Yes. Was she nice? She was super nice. She wow. was like, her daughter's made for me. He had lied to me about his age and basically everything else about him it's like you know how you find out something and it's like my life's a lie well i found out s stuff about him and his whole life is basically a lie he was a 33 year old man and i was only 21. when i found him he was telling everyone he was 26. he's probably told you He's 26. Well, he is actually a 33 year old man. If you see him coming from that direction, that's the way to go. So you're 32 years old, right? Yeah? What, what was that? How old are you, 32, 30, 33? I'm 27, 27. 27. I used to be a nurse and now I work with Disney and I, 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 I pretty much make more money than a nurse would. But His family didn't even want to see him. And some of them have restraining orders against him. Yeah, his family members have restraining orders against him. Restraining orders for the next five years. That says a lot. So, he stole my phone and all my social media and spoke to a lot of you guys on my Snapchat and Instagram. You did take her phone, right? I'm sure there was a reason you took her phone no, at the I, time. I did, not, I, did, I did not take her you phone. You didn't take it, but that's the excuse she used. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Good, makes sense, okay. He said he loved my family, but straight after we got married, he said, I am never allowed to see my family ever again. Suddenly, things started to get very dangerous. Let's say things escalated very quickly. And I started to say basically anything, even things against my family, to keep him happy so I can stay safe. And I'm pretty sure anyone would do that in that type of situation. If you're in that situation, say anything to please that person for your safety. So that's what I did. And I told my family that and they're like, you did a great job. We understand the whole thing. And I feel pretty proud of myself. I made him think that I have my family. I could, wow, got me out, I'm here, here I am.
<laughs> and all the people who helped me, including the detectives and the police officers, said that I did a great job in making him think I hate my family. They have advised people to do that same thing in the same situation. He didn't let me see my family for months. And in that time period, my family even wondered if I even was alive. He would call up my family and say, Cleopatra doesn't even want to be with you guys anymore. That's why she's not calling you. My family tried to post videos happily, not even knowing if I was alive. Then after that, the night when everybody was sleeping already, Cleopatra pretty much talked to me crying, saying that whatever her mom was doing is wrong, that she always does that. Wherever she goes, everybody hates her that uh, they couldn't even go to church because everybody hates her. They, when they go to, to India, everybody hates her there. That Jerusalem was like, I'm done dealing with mom. As soon as I found my wife, I'm gonna leave. And me, I already found my wife, so I'm leaving. I mean, my husband, so I'm leaving with you. So let's go. So in the middle of the night, we left and we, 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 we went to California. Cleopatra didn't want us to talk to mom ever again. Like not no one, no one in the family because Cleopatra said, Every time mom can you hold on just person, one second just can you just hold on i don't know if it's my internet or what but you just can you just repeat the last thing you said i'm sorry it it like broke up oh i said that uh cleopatra said that she doesn't want us to get to family and we didn't talk to them ever again so cleo cleo cuts off all communication basically yeah but I know that she loves me because, like, she cut off her family. Uh, okay, well... When she cut off her mom and us going to California without her family, like, that's when I pretty much realized that she actually does love me, like, for reals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pretty sure everyone can see how much I love my family and everything about them. And, yeah, and our last name, like, it's so unique. Licardo Tavola. So... When we got married, I decided to keep my last name and not take his. But for some weird reason, he decided to take our last name. Mary decided to take our last name. Hmm. He was not forced into it. When things were being filled out, he turned around to us and he goes, Hey, look at my last name. And we were like, Oh, you took it. Okay. Why do you think I lost my last name and now my last name is Luciardo Tolvola? Because of the same manipulation, same brainwash. She's a master manipulator. He, he did a GoFundMe and someone actually gave money. Uh, but I got a message from them and they said they got their money back when they found out that it wasn't me who set up the GoFundMe. No, that's probably, uh, that's probably uh, Cleopatra. Okay. Okay, so Cleopatra may have done that then. Right, right. If you saw a video of me on the internet, like somewhere on TikTok or any social media, and I was smiling in that video, I'm going to let you know that I was forced to smile. And in the point where he says, dream come true, I deliberately looked away to send a message to you guys that I was being held against my will. I did not want to be in that situation. Found out that mom told her to like not be there with the friends for her to like get another place. So my credit card, I have another credit card that she has and it's been charging on different hotels. So she's been staying in hotels pretty much. So she won't be in one hotel and I and like I couldn't find her. Oh. And see, I brought her to Pixar Studios. I like brought her to Laugh Factory because I would do stand-up comedy too. Mm. And then like, we're like, she's, we're so in love. Like you should see how we see, how we look at each other. Like it's magical. I was so unhappy with him. And one day I got to go to a birthday party where his family members were. And he left me unsupervised with his family. And guess what I did? I went to his relatives and was like, hey, guess what? This has happened. And they said, oh, we knew he had problems. And I told his relatives, help me. And they did. They took me and I got to stay at their house for a little while. 
Your brother-in-law and your sister. She never lived with you? No, she lived with me, but the time that she was she she separated. She ran away from you. Yes. To your brother-in-law and your sister-in-law. She didn't run away from me. I brought her there because I had to go to work. Live with you or no? Yeah. yeah. For how long? And then, until July 26th. July 26th. No, June 26th. June 26th, I brought her to my to my brother to my brother alone. June 26th. And then you took her to your your brother-in-law and your sister-in-law. Because I was. And what happened to, there? I was going to work. No, my sister and my brother-in-law accused her of, 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 of almost not killing my son. Wait, what? She, she left my son in the bathtub full of water, almost drowned. Oh my god. Together with them and created a fake video where someone was impersonating a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. Impersonating a police officer. That is a serious crime. They can't tell me any information because of their Homeland Security. So Cleo goes with Homeland Security, yeah? Or we assume she's in custody of them? So she's probably in custody, but I told my lawyer if they can find a way to just send her back to Australia and not her get a re uh, five years in prison. Are you going to hear from Homeland Security or your lawyer or whatever? No, my lawyer does, not me. Okay, but he's going to he's gonna fill you in? Yeah, of course. Okay. But I'm telling them... Like I'm not pressing charges to to my wife. I just want her to be okay. If 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 they can send her home instead of like her being locked up, I'd rather do that because I could go to Australia if she want to meet up. But like I don't want my baby to be delivered in there. You get what I'm saying?